guys, what's up? It's Julie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Julie. You should definitely subscribe. And if you're coming back, then thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about scholarships, how to get them, how I got them, telling you guys my stats, extracurriculars, and all of that good stuff. But before I start this video, I do want to say I am finally in my regular background, which is amazing, let me tell you. Also, I got a chair. Normally when I'm filming here, I'm standing and then I end up out of breath and then it's a whole thing. But now I'm finally able to sit down and talk to the camera calmly and smoothly, which is always awesome. And before I forget, today is August 11th when I'm filming this. I'm most likely uploading it on August 12th. So I have a giveaway going on until August 14th. It's thank you all for 100 subscribers. So I'll leave the video somewhere around the screen definitely go check it out you can win free stuff and it's free to enter of course because i want everyone to have a chance to enter and win so definitely go do that anyways i'm done rambling without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the video if y'all don't already know me hi my name is julie i'm going to be a freshman at Hofstra University in a few weeks, which I'm so excited about. It's honestly so crazy how time flies, but I'm here to give you guys some tips and tricks and tell you guys all about my scholarships. I'm not going to be hiding anything except the name of the schools because I'm not really allowed to say that legally, but other than that, I'm going to give you guys all the exact numbers, exact amounts, how I got them, some of my stats and more. I think a really good place to start is with my stats. So GPA wise, I was homeschooled for the first two years of high school. I believe I had around a 3.7, 3.8 GPA. For my last two years, I was in public school. For my junior year, I had like a 3.9. Senior year, I had a 4.0. I can't give you my cumulative average just because it's not even on my transcript. We didn't even get a diploma yet, so I don't know what's going on. Anyway, that's not the point. But it wasn't on my transcript, my cumulative average, so I'd have to go and add everything up. Honestly, I was too lazy to do that, but I will tell you, in the last marking period of my senior year, I got a 98 average, which is, I believe, a 4.0 GPA. So do what you will with that information. Now let's talk about SAT. So for SAT, I was in the 81st percentile of the SAT. I'm not really going to be saying the number just because it's kind of embarrassing for me. I didn't study for this test, let me tell you. I just went in straight blindly. It's fine, it's over with now. I'm in college, so I shouldn't really be worrying about it. But anyway, I was in the 81st percentile. I was way above college readiness, which is awesome. And I don't have to take any remedial courses, just to let y'all know. Now I'll talk a little bit about some of my extracurriculars and what I think made me stand out. I'm not gonna be going in detail about every extracurricular I did just because there are so many, but if you would like me to make a video just talking about like my extracurriculars, college essay, stuff like that, be more than happy to do that. I'll be more than happy to also answer any questions y'all have in the comments down below. So some of my extracurriculars were ice skating. I didn't do a sport throughout high school. Ice skating was kind of the only thing I did. I did a program where I was ice skating as a beginner. Didn't last very long, but it still happened. I was also part of student government, so I was the vice president of my junior class, and I am the secretary of my senior class, so that really does show leadership to colleges. I was the vice president of finance at uh, my school for DECA, if you all know what that is. Awesome, if you don't, go look it up, because I'm so sorry, I cannot explain it, but it's kind of like a business club. I was also part of National Honor Society for the last two years, of high school. Now on to volunteer experience. So for volunteer experience, I definitely say that volunteering is amazing, not just because you're helping out your community, which you should really want to do, but also because it looks good for colleges, it shows that you're well-rounded, that you care for others, and you want to help others, which is a good attribute to have. So I've volunteered at the Queen's Library, Queen Zoo, and the Make It Try Breast Cancer Walk. I've done multiple hours at all of these places, volunteered multiple times there. Um, I definitely have a lot of experience and my college essay was also about my time at the zoo and a little bit about my transition over to school. I kind of blended the two, but yeah, I just wanted to put that in here since I was already talking about it. And now in regards to work experience, I don't really have any work experience except for an internship that I did. So I talked about that. If you all don't know, I'm going to be going into finance. So I also talked about all of the career related courses that I've done. I've taken a lot of business aimed classes. So I think that also helped me. In addition, I do want to say I graduated with an advanced regents diploma, which I think is very enticing to schools to want me there then. Of course, any diploma will do. I'm just 
simply saying for the sake of the video. Now that I did that, let's talk about scholarships. So like I said, that's all my stats. Now, when I got scholarships, I actually didn't know that the colleges gave you scholarships when you even applied. I thought you had to apply outside, that was like separate. But when you are applying to college, the college will give you scholarships. So I'm gonna go over all the amounts that the colleges gave me in a bit. But I did apply to outside scholarships and what outside scholarships are are like basically like companies will have it online where they give you money. Um, you can apply, some of them will accept you, some of them won't. I got a lot of rejections. I applied to a lot and I only got one scholarship out of all of them that I applied to for the private scholarship. Scholarships really require different things depending on what kind of scholarship you get. There's a lot of different ones. There was a community service one that I applied for, applied for business one, I applied for a lot. But the one that I did get, unfortunately, legally, I don't think I could say the name, but I will tell you guys that it is a $10,000 a year scholarship, obviously 40K at the end of all four years. I wish I could give you more information on it, but that's kind of all I could really say about it. Anyway, now moving on to the specific schools and how much they gave me in scholarship, because that's where I got the most scholarship from is the colleges themselves. So before I do start this, I do want to say um, I did get waitlisted and rejected from some schools. Obviously, those won't be involved in this video. But the ones that are, are all featured in my college decision video. So if you guys want to try to figure out which school is which, go right ahead. I'll link the video somewhere here. So the first college, I got 26k per year. I also got 5k and then 2k. So altogether, I got $111,000 in scholarship from that school. So that's more than half of their tuition, which is excellent. But I didn't really show much interest in this school. I kind of just applied there to apply there. Um, I wasn't crazy about the school. I wasn't calling people. I wasn't contacting people like I was for other schools. For the second school, I got 27k per year and also 2k. So altogether, that's $110,000. That is also more than half of their tuition. The only difference with this school is that I showed a lot of interest. I talked to people from there, I toured there, I tried to do as much as I could to get involved with this school and I think that's why I got such a high amount of scholarship from this school. So from my third school, I actually got full tuition scholarship. So their tuition is $32,370. Altogether, that's $129,480 at the end of all four years. Like I said, it's full tuition, but I did show a lot of interest in the school. I took part in events at the school. I also talked to deans at the school, talked to professors at the school, so I showed a lot of interest in this one. For my fourth college, I got 4K per year and also 14,500 per year. That is $74,000 per year. That was a lot of the tuition, but I did show a lot of interest in the school. I did a program at the school. I also spoke to a dean there and I knew some of the professors. So I think that showing more interest in school will get you a higher amount of scholarship and how badly you want to go there will affect the amount of scholarship you get. For the next school, honestly, I applied for no reason. I was just bored. You can probably figure out which school this is if you watch my college decision video. Anyway, I got 6K per year from this school, $24,000. I believe that's majority of the tuition. Honestly, I don't know. I didn't have any interest in the school. I've never toured this school. I've never spoken to someone from this school. For my sixth school, I got $19,594 per year. It was a full tuition scholarship. Altogether, it was $78,376. I do want to say that this school, I got accepted and then something happened to my application and then it was a whole thing. But if I wanted to go there, I did have the option of going there. I just did not want to go here. I'm not trying to bash any schools or like talk about anything, but I just knew that I did not want to go to this school, so I really didn't show any interest in it. I really don't know how I got a full tuition scholarship there because my SAT score obviously isn't the best, so I really don't know how I ended up with full tuition. And finally, last but not least, like I said, I got a private scholarship for 10K per year, 40K after all four years. So I was recommended for this scholarship by my teacher and honestly it's a whole process i wish i could tell you all about it but you have to be a certain kind of high school and then you have to be recommended for it and like i said legally i really don't think i'm allowed to even say any of these things so altogether, i had 566,856 dollars in scholarship which is an insane amount of money and i'm so blessed and so thankful to have even received this amount in scholarship no matter what i said about any school i am so thankful to have received anything from them because I think that it's so kind and generous of them to even give me that much money and scholarship to come to their school. So if you have any questions about scholarships, please leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to read them. 
I will be sure to reply to them as soon as I see them. I would really like to help you guys in any which way that I can. If y'all want to see more college videos, I'll leave the playlist link of all my college videos in the description box down below. That way y'all can see them. I'm going to be making a lot more college content, including a college day in my life, week in my life, etc. A lot of college videos are to come. Anyway, you guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below more video ideas, share this link with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. All of my social media links will be in the description box down below, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace. And I was a part of DECA, I was the Vice President of Finance at my- But the ones that are, are- But the ones are- that. I think someone from, like, the school came to my- to talk-